Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. It's Sunday, February 20th, 2022. And today's video, as you can see, we're still talking about the shortages and everything else, but we have something that's more concerning. I'm gonna get to here in just a minute in this video. But first, I'm showing you the clips and stuff that have been sent to me this week in my email of the different shortages that are going on. I did not put in where they came from. Um, I ran out of time to do that. I am sorry for that, folks. I will make sure that that is done in the next video like I did in the last one because people requested it. But there are still all these different shortages on all kinds of products and meats and um, dairy, canned goods, cat food, all this different types of stuff, it just seems like it's just an ongoing battle and it's not getting any better. What is coming though, the coming storm is just unreal. So make sure you stick through this video, folks, because there's some great information coming to you. Some of these retailers and stuff, they're just, they're stocking shelves with empty boxes and, and putting, I mean, the boxes that you see in this video right now, they're empty. The person said that they were empty. There's nothing in them. They just want to make it look like there's something in these cases because they have nothing to put there. And that's been a common thing that's been going on lately. It seems like, you know, all these different things are going back to the direction where we came from. The signs are starting to go up. I've been talking about this, folks. The signs are going up and you're getting limits again. So beware when you go out for shopping and stuff, you're going to start to see these in all the different stores. They have no choice but to do this. And we're going to talk about more of this at the end of this video. But right now, this is what's taking place. The food shortages are going on. The signs are going up and you're only being able to buy X amount of product. You need to be prepared. These things are not getting any better. Now, let's move on to some serious news that you need to pay attention to. We're walking across a bridge with no rails, no nothing, and all it takes is a little tumble one way or the other, and you're gonna get wet, right? It's a fact of life. You have to stay on the path. You have to be focused and stay on the path, folks, because what is coming is going to be very bad if it really blows up. So it's very important for you to understand and make sure that you stay on the path and stay focused on what is at hand. Because no one's there to hold your hand. If you get what I'm saying, if things go south really quick, which it looks like, things could be headed in that dire direction. And I am talking about the wonderful little thing that's coming to town, and that's the Avion Influenza H5N1 Bird Flu Virus. And what I am talking about here is this disease has already spread throughout Europe, affecting Africa, Asia, Canada. Um, but some of the outbreaks have already been recorded in New York and in Indiana. And this is just devastating. Back in 2015, we had that huge outbreak here in this country. And they, we lost over 50 million birds when that happened. It's going to get serious. I tried getting chicken the other day at Walmart and they didn't have any chicken breast whatsoever in the cases, period. Eggs are starting to run short in a lot of different areas. The United States, just so people know, we're the world's largest producer and the second largest exporter of poultry, according to what the U.S. government is telling us. There's a lot of stuff that's going on, folks, and you got to start being prepared. This thing is spreading like hog wild, and it doesn't seem like it's um, going to be stopping anytime soon. The chicken and stuff that you're going to be able to buy in the stores and everything is 
going to be starting to be limited. I would start stocking up now, take my heed, all right? Now you can also freeze all this stuff, vacuum pack it. I've been telling people, I've done videos, I have a video coming out tomorrow on vacuum sealing. You all should watch it, it's a breakdown. It gives you everything you need to know in 10 minutes. That comes out tomorrow at three o'clock. You can take your eggs and you can freeze your eggs. You crack the shells, you put them into either like a cupcake tin or a silicone, you freeze them, you pull them out, you vacuum seal them, and they're good for at least a whole nother year. Things are just going crazy in this country. And what comes next if this takes place and if something happens with the war over in Ukraine, well, we're right back to square one again with people hoarding all this different kind of stuff that they don't even need. These are the people that don't know how to plan. These are the people you're looking at right now that don't have a clue on what to do in an emergency situation. You need to be prepared. You have to have a plan. You need more than toilet paper, folks. You got to be ready. You don't want to be standing in these lines or you don't want to be in these stores with all these angry people and everything else. Back in March of 2020, when this whole thing hit, I went to the store just to see what was going on and people were literally fighting over pallets that they're pulling out of toilet paper of nothing else. Nobody was concerned that there was no canned goods, no meat, no bread, no nothing. They were mad because there was no toilet paper. What is wrong with these people? It just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, they flock into these stores and everything else. And for what? For what, folks? You have to be prepared. You have to get ready. Things are not looking good. Okay, folks? So do yourself a favor, get a plan in place, make sure that you know what you have, what you need to top off, and make sure that you can survive this next storm. Because actually it's just this one big storm. We just keep adding little low pressures to it just to you know, make everything so intense and depressing for a lot of people. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for watching this video today on Sunday, February 20th, 2022. It's my weekly video I do on food shortages and everything else. Make sure you're staying prepared. Make sure you have a plan. Make sure you and your family can weather this storm. Wanted you to bring you this breaking information. Please folks, heed the warning. Get prepared. Till next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.